soup and then oh. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the greenhouse at Magnolia Community Garden on a not so pretty day, but it's perfect time for seeding. So Kayla just did a little overview with you. We're staying six feet away from each other. Um, we're seeding tomatoes, peppers, uh, lettuce, Swiss chard, cabbage, and leeks today. Um, normally we would see the tomatoes and peppers and eggplant in January but I don't know if you've noticed that our seed companies are a little overwhelmed so we are just getting our seeds in there's still time it's okay um, so we're gonna go for it so we have these um, our little tags we recommend that you write the date the variety and the vegetable for your records and then we're gonna come over here these are 72 plug uh, seed trays and basically what you do is you're gonna make a little, depending on the size of the seed, a little divot in the soil. And then we usually do one to two seeds per variety per plug. And we're gonna follow these seeds along and Kayla's gonna monitor this with us. Um, so if you have two sprouts coming up and they are uh, set their true leaves, you can gently squeeze the pot, take them apart, and then replant them in the same, a different plug. So, um, and then we can, we can always upgrade to a bigger size pot as we wait for them to mature so that we can set them out. We have really strong plants for spring. So uh, we hope you'll join us for this journey and um, wish you the best of luck seeding. If you don't have a greenhouse, you can do this at home in a very sunny window and make sure that they're um, evenly moist, your seedlings. So what we're gonna do in this garden, I'm just gonna back up for a minute. So twice a day, every day, Kayla, I'm coming behind. We're going to have our wonderful volunteers water our seedlings gently on a shower setting. So, not all the way up. You can see the throttle. I guess it's called the throttle. Halfway. And we're just going to soak the whole tray and then um, twice a day until they start sprouting. And once they get a little bit more mature, we can kind of go down to once a day, but they're going to get out into the field within six weeks. So, that's why we are seeing our eggplant and peppers and um, tomatoes now because uh, you really want to start, start them indoors six weeks before you transplant them out. So our last frost date is March 28th. I just looked it up. So that's about right. So we're hoping for the best and we wish the best for you and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.